Hi, welcome to Savor, the cooking show on the Bon Bon Network. I'm Meadow Lynn. Today, I'm so excited. We are going to be making a recipe that I'm still working on the name. So if you have a great name, please let us know what you'd like to call it. Right now, we're calling it Cacao Energy Truffles, but I'd love to hear what you want to call it. It's based on a recipe that I actually created when I was a little girl. It's the first recipe I ever created. I was probably somewhere between three and five years old. I grew up with kind of hippie parents, so we ate really healthy. So this was a really special treat for me. I called them tahini balls. This is an updated uh, recipe. So we'll be blending some peanut butter with tahini and raw cacao to make these energy truffles. So the first thing we'll want to do is we mix one third cup creamy peanut butter with two tablespoons of tahini, which is a sesame butter. And you can use whatever nut or seed butter combination you choose. I love adding the tahini because it adds an extra dimension of flavor. Also, sesame seeds are really good for you. But if you prefer, try something different. So two tablespoons of tahini mixed with the peanut butter. So we'll just mix those together. And I, I was a school teacher for many years and I quit my job in 2009 at the height of the economic downturn. And people said, what are you doing? You know, what are, you have a good job, you have benefits. But I knew that I needed to follow my passion for cooking. And so I took that really scary leap into the unknown. And that's what this recipe symbolizes for me, is that leap and following my childhood passion. Often people will tell me that they also want to follow their passion. They want to do something different than their nine to five job, but they don't always know what it is. So when I'm working with coaching clients, I often recommend you look back at your childhood, see what it is that you were passionate about. And often that will give you clues to what will really juice you as an adult and help you live your most delicious life. Okay, so back to the recipe. We have mixed one third cup peanut butter with two tablespoons tahini. And the next thing we're going to add is three tablespoons of honey. If you're vegan, you can use a different sweetener like agave or maple syrup. This is what I love about this recipe is it's so fluid. You can really make it your own with whatever ingredients really suit your tastes or just expand your creativity. Next thing we will do is we will add half a teaspoon vanilla. That's about half a teaspoon. We'll mix that in. two tablespoons coconut oil. In its liquid form, it's much easier to work with. Yeah, that's not quite a tablespoon. Okay, there's a tablespoon. And I'm say that's about two tablespoons. Once again, that is not absolutely necessary, but I think it really adds to the texture of the energy truffle. Otherwise, it's a little bit dry. It gives you those like peanut butter milk commercials. Aaron Burr! Mix in that coconut oil. Coconut oil also is really good for you. Got so many great fats in there, good for your brain health. And the final ingredient, one third cup raw cacao. If you don't have raw cacao, you can use regular cocoa powder. But the raw cacao is really good for cardiovascular health and it is just really delicious. And you can get that in um, some well-stocked grocery stores, also um, online, it's pretty easy to find. So we mix all of these together until we make a nice truffle base here. So these are our cacao nut energy truffles. And it will still be a little soft. So once we get it all mixed, we'll actually refrigerate it for about 20 minutes. And then once it's been chilled, We'll pull it out and we will roll it into balls, which then today we'll roll into unsweetened shredded coconut. However, you can use whatever you want. Chopped nuts, maca powder, matcha powder, chopped raisins, whatever suits your fancy. These really are 
just the base ingredients. And this is a, your opportunity to use your cooking in, intuition and see what, um, what suits your tastes best. Okay, so we've got it all mixed up now. So we will chill that and then we will roll it into the balls. So once your energy truffles have had a chance to chill, set up in the hour, take 20 minutes an hour, once it's firm, you'll know when you can roll it into a ball. You want to make them about the size of a nickel. You need a plate to put them on. So here we've got one here. Just about the size of a nickel, so it's a little bite size. You'll roll those into a ball in your hands. And then I like to roll them in the coconut. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. And when I was a little girl, when I first created a very similar recipe to this, I remember walking around with it on my hands like this, cocktail party style, and serving it to my parents, and I felt so grown up. Once again, roll it like a nickel size, kind of like a really small cherry. Roll it in the coconut. And then once you get them all rolled, I recommend putting it back in the refrigerator and they'll get a little firmer that way. And they're best eaten straight out of the refrigerator. Because of that coconut oil, if you take them out and they sit on the counter for too long, they will soften. They'll still be just as delicious, but the texture will be less firm. So it's really up to you, whatever you decide. And so let's, ooh, here we go, we'll make one more. And it makes about 20 small truffles. Oh, I can't wait to try these. All right. Oh, I think I'll try that one. <laughs> so good. Get hints of honey, just a little bit of that coconut flavor, and a strong burst of that raw cacao. Mm. Really, really. <laughs> really good. Thank you for cooking with me. I'm Meadow Lynn, the host of Savor, the cooking show on the Bon Bon Network, and I wish you a very delicious day.